Hey guys, what's up? It's Avery. I've had a few people ask how I color some of my videos, and so since I'm quarantined now, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we'll start with um, this shot. I should reiterate that this is all shot on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and shot in Blackmagic RAW. So although the principles that I'm going to talk about apply to any camera, this specifically is for that camera, the 6K and the 4K in Blackmagic RAW. So with this clip, we we'll go here to the master settings, and this is what you can get. Blackmagic RAW offers a plugin that will let Premiere use, um, that will let you uh, allow you to edit your Blackmagic RAW on Premiere. So normally it'll come into, it'll, when you get into this, it'll say camera metadata. You go to clip, and that'll let you edit everything. Now, I've already kind of monkeyed with some stuff, but I actually shot this at 4200 Kelvin. It's the white balance, um, which is really low, and it makes everything look a little cooler. Uh, fortunately, since this is Black Magic Raw, I can tweak that. So... This right here, this is use video black. This just makes the darks a little darker, which I really like. It's subtle, but it's a nice help. So the color temperature, uh, actually I'll get back to that. Let's add an adjustment layer here. This is where I'm gonna add my grade, which, which is another way of doing it. You can add it onto the clip, but for this sake and for the ability to tweak things, I'll add it on the adjustment layer. So I'll add the LUT. Hey, I forgot to mention that the LUTs used in this video and a few other ones are available on my website. The link for that website is below in the description. And for a little while longer, I'm offering them for half price. You can just use code IGNORANTLUT in the checkout and you can um, have those available to you. Anyways, back to the video. And we'll go to Southern Breeze. Now, we'll go into the image, as you can see. Everything's pretty, pretty blue. I'd say that even the shirts are a little blue. Um, the shadows are pretty dark. Uh, you know, you can see the bride pretty well, and this guy choking. You can see him pretty well. But if we, um, we can tweak that, go here. I'd say you can go 500. Honestly, even 640. I like to usually stay at about 400 because you maximize dynamic range, but for this case it's fine because um, it's still a little dark. So that's nice, and then we'll adjust the color temperature. We'll go to like, like 4700. Yeah, just go below 4700, that's fine. And then I'll adjust. So, that, sorry, this is all in the Black Magic Run. You can adjust the contrast here or in the adjustment later layer it doesn't really matter I'll just do it here for just because it doesn't matter um, add some contrast and I'm, I'm liking that so now we can see that the the image you can see that they can still you can still see the sky for the most part I wouldn't go any brighter than this and you can see the shadows you can see the people nothing's too bright um, there's still shadows on the face but that's fine that was just how it was shot but I like this because the whites are now white. The the skin tones, I'd say they're a little they're a little on the warmer side, but that's all right for this look. I mean, I'm not I'm not color correcting, I'm color grading at this point, so I'm trying to get something to look the way I want it. So I'd say that this looks this looks pretty nice. Go to another. Let's do this video clip right here. Here we can see. Let's see Kyle coming in like a cool guy here um, yeah so let's adjust let's add another adjustment layer here and let's add summer storm which is a bit cooler it's a bit it's a bit it's a little less on the warm side but that's cool because I like that and here we'll go to the master settings and I've already tweaked it a bit again it was back down here at 4200, which is really cool, which is really blue, but we'll bring that up. You can even go to like 48, I like 48, and let's use black video, and 
Yeah, we'll add. We'll go to 500 here. And we'll increase. Yeah, not too much. Not too much at all. And let's see how that looks. I like that. I like that. So you can see the skin tones are nice and, you know, fleshy. Flesh tone. That's nice. Uh, the white's pretty white. I, it's still a little on the cooler side, but that's how I like this LUT to look. Uh, the summer breeze is a little bit more warm. and But now, here's something that's very specific to me. I'm a, I'm a, big, a big fan of retaining my darks, my, my shadows, and my highlights. And I would say in here, uh, this, this monitor that I'm looking at is kind of bright, so I can see everything, but not every monitor is. So... The reason I added the LUT to the adjustment layer is so that you can adjust it here with the opacity. And this is so that I can get a bit a bit less contrasty. Because if you notice here, it's really changing. In fact, if you look at those trees, you can see a big difference. I'm losing a lot of shadow detail when I add this LUT, which is fine. Again, it's not a big deal because that's not the that's not the focal point of the shot, and so it really doesn't matter too much. But if you want to kind of find a mid-ground in there, adding the LUT to the adjustment layer is nice because then I can kind of tone it down here. Tone that down. So I think even, you know, even to like, you know, 60% could be, you know, really nice. So you got here, you know, this is clearly right here a washed out look. But then I add some color. And you can see when you're, when you're looking at just these two images, you can see, okay, I'm, I'm retaining the shadows and I'm making the image, the image pop, which I really like. And you know, if that's not enough color for you, you can always adjust the saturation too, so. But anyways, I like how that looks both ways, you know, with, with that, with the opacity uh, lowered and with it raised, it looks nice both ways, depending on what you're going for. I think it's just important to maintain consistency in your shots. The last one I'm gonna do is this clip here which is from Talk All Night. It's a music video I shot a little while ago. Uh, we were going for a really moody look. And so here we'll add the adjustment layer. And um, so sometimes when you add LUTs, you can get a really, if you're going for a moody kind of LUT, which this is, uh, sometimes it can look a lot like this, which is very, very blue, very moody. It, it could even be over moody. I, I would, I would, to me, this looks over moody. And again, here in the opacity, you can tone this down. But even then, I mean, I wouldn't go this far, but I go to, you know, here. But even this, I think, is just a little overboard. Now, maybe if you're going for a look like this, then that's great. But, um, I am not. So I'll take this to 100. And then right here, let's go back into the master channel. And we'll raise this to like. Maybe that, maybe 40, that's nice. This black video, we'll even, we like 500, maybe. Ah, uh, nah, we'll go to 500. I'll say here 500, I like that. So now you can see that, okay, we've added some, some blood flowing back into his face. The skin tones, skin tones look a lot nicer. Um, not too moody, but still the rest of the location you know, still has that gray, slight blue look to it, which, you know, which a lot of this comes down to how you shoot it. You can't expect a LUT or any color grading to just completely overwrite what you shot. So this is just adding the final touches. But yeah, so I like this. It adds, it adds a nice moodiness to it. And you can see, you know, we're getting a lot more with it. Everything kind of pops a little bit. We can, we, you know, we're focusing on him, and then the rest of the the environment is kind of a moody kind of uh, background. So that's what we're going for there. And anyways, and yeah, if, if I want to bring that down, if I want to, you know, adjust that, I can do that here. But yeah, so anyways, those are just three of them. Uh, I just thought I'd show you how I kind of adjust this stuff and um, make it all work. Anyways, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and... Um, 
comment below. Let me know. I'll probably be making some more videos soon anyways. Um, I kind of added a lot into this video. I probably left out a lot as well. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys.